Okay, so what do plastic, penicillin, and pacemakers have in common? Okay, we all know they start with the letter P, but the other common thread is that they were invented by accident, but many more products were born out of a need. But no matter how an idea comes about, you are going to need some guidance. Our guest this morning is an expert in that field. Meet George Davison, CEO and founder of Davison, a company that helps everyday people turn their invention ideas into real products that can be sold in stores. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, I got to tell you, a lot of my friends tell me, you know what, I just, I, I just don't think it's going to happen, George, you know? How how do you get that idea that you have into reality? What's the best way to do it? Well, first you have to make sure that you have the ability to take a chance. Okay, which is right? take a risk. You got to do it. Life take is a risk. risk. Right. So you have an idea. The next decision is, am I going to take a chance? And if so, let me get this thing recorded down so I protect my idea. And no matter how hard it is, and you have such great examples in a series that you have on the web called mm -hmm. Dare to Invent. Yes. It's a chance, but sometimes it's success. Well, it's, it's Dare to Invent, right? That's mm -hmm. the whole series. You have to. So some of us have the internal fortitude to pull it off, and some of us don't. And you have one about a gentleman that really went through woo, a lot of heartache, and can I just tell you, gross, gross. Well, Julian's a great guy, and uh, it's a good story all the way around. Bugs. Bugs. Lots of bugs. Thank goodness for the bugs. Let's take a look. <laughs> Meet Julian Smith. He's from Pennsylvania. He's your average everyday guy who's got a house guest problem. Stink bugs. I went from having hundreds to having thousands. I mean, literally thousands. This living room that you're sitting in here right now, you could look up at any one time, any time during the day, especially when the sun was up, and they're just crawling. So Julian's got this massive stink bug problem in his house and he can't seem to get rid of them. But he's not the only one with this problem. Stink bugs were accidentally introduced into the United States back in the 1990s, and since then, they've spread across the country, infesting millions of homes and becoming an agricultural pest to many farmers. Uh, you know, I've got two little girls, and uh, they freak out every time they see a stink bug. Dad, come upstairs, we got a stink bug. Julian's idea was assigned to Tim. His team had to create an effective stink bug trap that could be mass produced, appeal to people who have become bug victims, and fit into a company's product line. The cool thing about Julian was he came to us with an actual model of his idea. Julian's home-built model was a two-liter pop bottle with the top cut off, and then it was placed inside. This allowed the bugs to crawl into the bottle easily but difficult to climb back out. And to attract the bugs, a light was placed inside the trap. The outside bottom and sides were then taped to block the light and to help the bugs climb up and see the show. When I went and I, I, I checked the stink bug trap, I looked at it and I was totally amazed. I, I mean, this thing was full of hundreds of stink bugs. I mean, hundreds of them. With more stink bug problems out there, more stink bug products are hitting the market. Unfortunately, they don't work very well. Right now, we're not sure if a company's gonna take a risk on Julian's idea because of the design and also the rough shape that it's in. Even though Julian's idea was great, it wasn't going anywhere, kinda like his stink bugs. We gotta understand why these stink bugs have such a hard time getting out of the stink bug trap. So the best way for us to do that is to make somebody a stink bug. I hate you. The light. The light is so beautiful. Oh, my face is coming off. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, it's, oh, oh, the light, it's great, it's great. Now, now that I've seen the light, I am ready to get out of this trap. Not quite yet. We got a little surprise for you. <laughs> my mother! My father! There's supposed to be a trap door in here. No, we specifically made it so you couldn't get out. No, no. Yeah, can, can somebody just lift the glass up? No. Any, anybody? There's like a dozen people here. If, if somebody just lifts the glass up. All right. Have fun. Have fun. Now, wait a minute. Nobody has any help at all. I can't believe we built an enormous stink bug trap. And I love seeing Clay fall into it. And hopefully he's OK. <sighs> Claustrophobic and uh, awkward 
and uh, definitely easier to get into than out of. Tim's team came up with a viable solution. Our new design, it incorporated the same tactic of luring and catching bugs, but it was simplified into two injection molded pieces so that it would be cost effectively made. We just presented Julian's idea to Phil Boxwell from Boxwell Brothers. We told Phil about Julian's story and his passion for his idea and he loved it so much, he insisted on meeting with him. We invited Julian and a local news crew to share in this special moment. Julian, this is what we've prepared for you. Wow, look at this. There you are. It's beautiful. <laughs> I wanted to ask you how it feels to go from this to this. I never had my hopes up, but I do now. It really touched my heart to see that something that came out of a, of a pop bottle could actually turn into something that people can use around their houses. I would think our first run would be several hundred thousand. Wow, so, that's great. Yeah, it's exciting. In life, everything's a chance. This was the first Thanksgiving dinner that I didn't get ridiculed or laughed at because of ideas that I came up in the past that failed. Don't let, don't let people hold you back, you know, follow your heart. Follow your heart. See, I love that. Don't give up. And that's what I think is really important, George, that people think out there, I have an idea, but eh, forget it. It is, it is all, you know, you have great energy. It's, you pour that energy into your ideas or into your project, and you'll be amazed at what you get. So for him, he's saying pull it out of his heart, his head, his guts. It's just all coming forth, and the energy's going into the right direction. And that's what we do all day long. So end the sentence for me. If I have an idea, I should... Call George. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you, sir. Thank I got to start calling him more. I have so many ideas. And to find out more about Dare to Invent and truly dare to do this and tips on how to get started with your great idea, and sometimes it can lead to a little bit of extra cash in your pocket, visit www.davison.com. That's D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com. Take a chance. Follow your heart.